Bro, people like me and you are making money on eBay and even making full-time income from it. So in this video, an upcoming series of videos, I'm gonna take $100 to start off with and I'm gonna start flipping items on eBay. So in episode one, what I'm gonna show you is some tools that I'm gonna use to guarantee my success. We gonna even go search for some items online using tools that everybody has available to them. Now, the beauty of eBay, bro, is like you can sell anything on there. Electronics, sneakers, clothes, collectible items, toys, baseball, cards you name it now this challenge is gonna be a little different from my other ones because usually what I would do on an eBay challenge is I would go in my garage find some stuff that I already have that I know I could sell and build my capital up that way but this time we just gonna take a hundred dollars and then scale our way up now if you're already familiar with me you already watch my content then you know that I already have a wide range of things that I've resold in the past that sneakers electronics name brand clothing so pretty much anything that I feel like I can make a profit on I'm gonna use on this challenge all right now let's talk rules for a little bit the first rule is that we cannot exceed the original a hundred dollars and i'm also going to tie into that that we can't go over the gross amount so let's say we build up to four hundred dollars right we can't go over 400 not 420 not 10 nothing like that of course we can only sell on ebay we have to document everything and my number one rule must have a strategy now for me, the first phase of me doing anything is just sitting back, learning and researching, right? For me, it's best to have a plan going in. So I wanna know the best selling items on eBay, what's not really selling. So ultimately I can see what I need to get out there and start grabbing. So let's jump on the computer and I'm gonna show you a tool that I'm gonna be using. For the, all right, and so this is a tool that I'm gonna be using and it's called Zeke Analytics, all right? And so the reason why I'm using this tool is because like I said, this is the perfect tool to research and figure out what I'm gonna do prior to going in, right? So, all right, and this is what the software interface looks like. I haven't even connected my to it. I just wanted to kind of show you some of the, some of the research that you can do and the research that I've been doing. So I'm gonna take you through it first. Since you got your dashboard or whatever, if your store was if your store was connected, you would see it here. eBay weekly bestseller. So I think that's pretty dope. This is Crocs did 16,000 sales last week. Jesus Christ, they did almost half a million in sales last week. This is a type of information that they show you on the dashboard, right? And then you go to product research. You can filter it by like United States, United Kingdom, max price, feedback. You can exclude phrases right so if you want to if you want to search for all iphones but you know exclude iphone four or five you only want to see new iphones you can do that what caught my attention and what i'm going to use the most here is going to be category research right because with all the different categories you got ants art drawings feeding now what i want you to do is pay attention to the stars right the stars to each one of these that's an indication of the sales volume the interest in particular category all right so, okay, boom, clothing, shoes, accessories. You see women's clothing has four stars. So women's clothing is probably probably one of the most popular items on eBay, period, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. And then this kind of shows you like the types of items that are selling, right? I'm gonna go ahead and look at this listing. See, here's something I want y'all to realize too that I don't wanna leave out and I don't wanna leave you in the dark about when it comes to doing this type of research. Don't think for two seconds that you're gonna be, be able to just get on here and sell these generic colored tees right like like if maybe if you found them maybe if you found like these exact ones and you found them at bulk then maybe you could bro but this person pretty much has the reputation they have the feedback so they're probably going to get the bulk of sales on this right but what i am gaining from them it, what i am gaining from this is that maybe this style shirt is popular right so with women's clothing with women's shirt, then that's something that i would write down something that i would pay attention to now, me personally, I'm going to be looking for brands. I'm going to be looking for brands, maybe certain designs, things like that, so that I'll know what to look at, look for when I'm out and about, right? So, so this kind of just shows you that. Now, the sell-through percent is a measurement of how fast items are selling. For example, sell-through rate of 500 means that on average, each listing has gained five sales. The higher the sell-through percentage, the better, right? So this what this tells you is that, okay, these items are kind of flying off the shelves 27 percent full listings right the percentage of listings that have at least one sale right so, so this is of course you know gauging the top 100 listings for that 
financial terms. This is 821 sold items, $10,000 in sales. So let's look, see now, okay, boom. Now we're starting to see brands, right? Women's clothing, shorts. Okay, that's that's Erica, right? So this is something that I would write down because look, if I seen, if I seen this brand out somewhere, I would know it from a can of paint. But now that I know that, okay, these sell, these are popular, then hey, if I can get them for the right price, I know that they're going all day for 20 bucks. Something that I would probably write down. Let's go ahead and look at some of the Zeke Pro features so that I could kind of just show you once again how we're going to use this to our advantage in this series, right? So there's a bulk scanner, meaning I can like scan a list sellers, everything they have, a bunch of products, everything they have in bulk, right? They have the best selling eBay items tab. And this kind of just shows us top products, right? Like this is by sales, filtering it by sales. I believe they're showing us 500, but, and I'm gonna filter this by location. We're gonna do the US and you kind of see here. Okay, so stuff like Pokemon cards, something that we would look at, of course, consoles, game consoles is something that we're definitely gonna do. See cell phone accessories, more cell phone accessories, right? And this is once again, this, you, you don't necessarily just all of this to the bank in that case. You just more so look at this and say, okay, this is the type of stuff that's selling. I'm sure if I played with the filters, I could kind of narrow this down to more of the stuff that I'm kind of looking for. But one of the coldest features that they have, bro, is a wholesale product database, bro. So like, of course, when you talk wholesale, you know what I mean? That's if you want to niche down, if you want to do, if you want to do like cell phone accessories, then it's not going to necessarily benefit you to find one at a garage sale and then sell it for a couple of dollars because the, the profit margins are so low. Something like this, if you want to to do something like that it would even this tool could help you because it could help you find wholesalers all these different kinds of accessories right so like right now with father's day coming up they they're kind of pushing one with number one dad on it or whatever they know that a lot of people are going to get those as last minute gifts or whatever the case may be so the fact that they the fact that they're hooking up hooking you up with just so many different wholesalers is pretty cool too this case is hard the airpods holder on the back if they charge them like that this case has like changed the game now i had done the research to find out what i was going to be primarily selling which is going to be from what i found out women's clothing of course sneakers and shoes toys and collectibles so i'm definitely going to hit up some garage sales some thrift stores but right now i'm gonna actually start looking online so let's go ahead and start using apps like marketplace offer up five miles to kind of find some startup stuff all right, so now I'm about to walk y'all through my process on how I would kind of like start to make some offers, start to try to find to resell, okay? So like I said, on the last, like I said previously, women's clothing, women tops, something that you almost can't lose with on eBay. And so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use as an example as far as finding something to go ahead and start this challenge with, all right? Now, I'm gonna be on Poshmark, I'm gonna be on OfferUp, and I'm gonna be on Facebook Marketplace pretty much doing my research, okay? Now, now once again, in this challenge, I fully intend to go into thrift stores go into stores and actually find this stuff. I actually have a list of the top selling brands items for women and men and I will include that for you so that when you're, when you're in the store you don't have to use your internet connection risk it loading slow you can kind of just you could just kind of like use it on the fly find what you need and pick your brands that way one of the brands that I know for a fact does move on eBay is a women's brand It's a somewhat designer brand but not just like Gucci or anything like that and it's called Moschino all right now why Moschino is also a spot for me is because especially when it comes to offer up and buying this type of stuff from normal people then you run the risk of it maybe being fake and you know or not authentic and so this is one of those brands to where it's almost like why would you knock it off bro it's, it's not necessarily just too expensive to go ahead and get even brand new right so, all right now so First, I'm gonna type it in uh, on eBay, all right? And so when you when I type anything on eBay, I'm kind of looking at the listings, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I wanna go down over here, filters, filter by sold items, and then this kind of shows you, okay, this is what's actually selling. This is what's actually popular. So, side of these, because you wouldn't really know that th 
these were Moschino. Shirts like these with that bear on it, with that big print, we kind of know, okay, that's what sells, right? So in your mind, as far as when you're thinking about what you're gonna go out and find, when you're gonna look at these places, if you're looking at Moschino, then you're gonna know, hey, stuff that stuff with the big print and the bear on it, so it's gonna sell, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead on Poshmark first, and I'm gonna go to Moschino women's shirt, okay? I don't top anything with the bear. Shirt like this, $7. Let me see what these are selling for over here. That lets me know that that's probably not gonna be what I'm looking for. So it's a process, right? You just kind of look through all these different sites. I'm even gonna come over here to my filters and say, hey, I need it to be under $5. Once again, I haven't seen anything with the bear, but this shirt stands out, okay? So I'm actually gonna make an offer on it. I'm gonna offer you $21 in valid offer price. Okay, she's not taking anything less than, okay? Okay, so just in case that offer is accepted, I need to go ahead and put this information in, so let me do that. All right, so, like, because I haven't seen any sold listings, but we know that that's listed at about 50, and we know that, hey, if we if that woman is offer, we can probably maybe double our money if there's the same type of demand for this shirt, so I made an offer on that. Looks like a brand like this, you might have to get out into the stores and try to see if you can get your hands on it, but that's definitely gonna be one of the brands that I have my eye on, right? Another brand, Harley Davidson women's shirts, right? Of course, you have the regular listings, but we want to kind of see sold. You come here to sold, you see once again that these things are selling all day, every day. Now, the thing about these is, is bro, there is not like single, there's like, there's not one single design or pattern that kind of jumps out. I mean, you can kind of see that Harley Davidson is one of those cult-like followings anyway, bro. So um, if you find anything Harley Davidson, it's probably worth it now one thing that I'm that we need to pay attention to though is average price right because it varies right some of these are going for 40 bucks and some of them are going for seven bucks right it would all have to do with what you found it for we're gonna go to try to make an offer for a Harley Davidson shirt right okay she wants $12 Harley Davidson women shirt she wants $12 let me see those kind are going for she wants 12 I got a feeling on a shirt like that I'm not gonna be able to make I got a feeling that I would probably only be able to make $10 that for that, right? So I might, once again, be better off at the store, but I'm still gonna make an offer. Let me, if you give it to me for six, I will take it, okay? So, they're gonna make me do this process again, which I am gonna do. Let's try to find another profitable Harley Davidson shirt. Hmm, now, maybe I'm making too much of it, but feel like I seen sort of two-tone color shirts like this, kind of having more higher value, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make an offer on this you can give it to me for 10 take it right so i'm going to go ahead and submit that offer and once again they're going to make me put in this payment information all right now let's talk about a brand that i would not know from a can of paint if i seen it unless i knew about it right and that is eileen fisher all right now let's go ahead and see what those are doing on ebay eileen fisher women shirt just to be clear okay so once again you see these fly off the shelves fly off the shelves now i'm not gonna lie to you bro i wouldn't be able to identify like oh it's an eileen fisher right so you really when you're in these stores you really need to be kind of in the tags looking at the tags now one thing i'm noticing bro look at look at these you know these sold prices um even on pre-owned and new stuff right so that's so that's pretty that's pretty cool bro especially if you can get some of this stuff in the store for a cheaper amount right so we're gonna go ahead and look at Poshmark for Eileen Fisher shirt right and it's the same type of stuff bro like we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get under to five dollars if, if anybody's just trying to get rid of some boom ten dollars Eileen Fisher teal top let me see if I can maybe just find this see if I can find that uh -oh, wait a minute. okay and so this shirt looks similar and it sold forty two dollars right so even if if I now, now, I'm always gonna make an offer. I'm gonna try to get them down to $10 and then boom, submit that offer. Now, we're gonna go ahead and also see Eileen Fisher items and material. And, then, and what it looks like on these sites, maybe with clothing, stores are gonna be our best. Stores like shops like that that sell used clothing are gonna be our best bet simply because on here it looks like people are kind of hip to what the online value is and so they're a little closer to that. What Where this tool is gonna come in more so in handy in is when 
where we start diving into electronics and diving into sneakers and things like that. So we made a few offers. Make sure you subscribe to me because next episode we're gonna cover listing, making making nice listings, right? We're gonna get out in the thrift stores, go look for these type of brands, and we're gonna learn more about just presenting the products and make it taking good good pictures taking good photos so that so that a potential customer knows that they're dealing with a professional so man subscribe to me if you're not already man thank y'all for y'all time today i love you bro let's get it hey man thank you so much for watching if you like the content on my channel i want to ask that you like comment and subscribe also if you're interested in learning how to acquire limited items join my discord not only do we share the information in there but we also raffle off items do giveaways and all type of lit stuff so join me in that discord also follow me on all my socials i love y'all man let's get it